After receiving the product package, you should open the packing box first. Please check your accessories according to the list. It's highly recommended to place your router somewhere higher without coverage. Place it close to your device and in the center to cover more space. Different colors of the status pilot light represent different states of the router. You can read the status of the router according to these indications. The following interfaces are located on the back panel. Each has different functions for usage. After you learn about the router, now you can continue with connecting the router to a power supply via the provided power adapter and connecting the warm port of the router to the Ethernet port or the LAN port of a modem via the provided network cable. Now the pilot light is solid red. You can go to activate your router. Normally, you would enter the activation page automatically. But if not, you can also manually enter the IP address in the browser. For activation, the system will detect the network connection as well as network type. If the network type is detected, it will switch to the corresponding mode for network configuration. If not, you need to manually select a type for network configuration. It is recommended to select this mode as no additional configuration is required. Select PPPoE if your ISP has provided the broadband account and password, or obtain your broadband information from your old router. Connect the new and old routers to the power supplies. Then connect the one part of the old router to any LAN part of the new router with a network cable. Click Obtain to get the broadband account and password from the old router. Static IP address is not recommended. After configure your network, continue root configuration. Root configuration consists of three parts, setting Wi-Fi password, selecting country, region, and setting router management password. The solid blue pilot light means your activation is completed. Now feel free to enjoy your fast and smooth surfing experience. For remote management, scan the QR code below.